this a most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Heads it! Goal Ireland! Well, the whole idea is to start as you mean to go on and that sets their tone beautifully. A great delivery and a finish to match. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Ireland go ahead, one goal to the good. Tries to switch the play. McLean. Hendrick. And it's long. Long, threads one through. Field changing the point of attack. Long, long. Ireland are very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. It's out of play for a goal kick. Brushed off the ball there. A real chance to break. Gets the better of his man. In with a header! Oh, taken with style! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. What a great header, got plenty on that. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Ireland got themselves a two-goal cushion. And that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Coleman plays it over to the other flank. Looks to clip it forward. A buccaneering run from the defender. Massive leap! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Hoists it forward. McLean is on to it and can take it. Towering header! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. And it's half-time here. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with uh, another show of strength? Ireland go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. Already up and running for the second half. Hendrick. Duffy. Being played forward. A 
more than happy to take the muscular approach. Quick ball forward. Keeper's got good distance on that. He's got options out wide. McLean whipped in. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. And it's played forward. Hendrick could move up a gear here. Plays it out to the wing. McLean drives it in. Across the field it goes. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. He could be in here. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. I wouldn't fancy playing up front in these circumstances, to be honest. There's absolutely no supply. He's through the middle. And the shot! And more, and more, and more! And they are pulling clear here! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Ball pass. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Looking to break out here. He's found his man. Long. Pops it into the area. He can get that clear. And that is that. Ireland enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. Your reflections then, Jim.